Hi, good evening, Jackie and Simon. So I'm happy to say that we are warm tonight inside of this 24 hour Walgreens where many of those procrastinators may end up later tonight or in the wee hours of the morning for some wrapping paper and maybe even some gifts. You're cutting it really close if you haven't already finished your Christmas shopping. All ready for Christmas? Nope. Yeah, no, I mean, for the most part, yeah. Yeah. Annalise Bame, who spent the evening shopping at Water Tower with her sister, Erica Denkenberger, says along with buying gifts for others, she's being kind to herself this Christmas. Yeah, I kind of got myself a little something because I just haven't bought anything for myself. The sisters say the freezing cold Christmas Eve temps aren't stopping them from getting those last minute stocking stuffers to place underneath the Christmas tree. They live up by the Canadian border and so we're always, you know, negative 20, negative 30 with the wind chill. So same as here. <laughs> While this set of sisters is used to the cold, these two sisters, Katie and Joanne Nolan from Ireland, got a big shock entering the Windy City. We're still very unprepared. Like our jackets just are nothing compared to like the Chicago. Like you guys are really, really prepared. <laughs> Katie and Joanne aren't letting the Arctic blast stop them from Christmas shopping for family and friends back home. I was like, we'd leave it all for Chicago. So I was like, wait and got all my gifts here. We also caught up with another family from Ireland braving the cold for last minute Christmas gifts. If we can cope with this, we can cope with coming here anytime. Yeah, yeah you exactly. I mean? You'll be prepared. This According to the National Retail Federation, consumers will spend just over $830 for gifts and holiday items this year. An NRF survey cites that shoppers are finding most of their gifts online and at discount and department stores. When it comes to holiday deals, we did see some sale items, but you know, you definitely see some cold price out there. People know that, you know, the consumer is going to be out there shopping less than it. It wasn't until she started wrapping gifts that Camille Honesty realized she didn't have everything she needed. I wrapped Christmas gifts today and realized there were a couple of things that I was missing, so I ran out to finish. <laughs> All right, so I hope all of you watching at home have finished your Christmas shopping, but if you haven't, you're not alone. According to the National Retail Federation, 70% of holiday shoppers will shop next week. The majority of those shoppers saying they'll do it then to take advantage of promotions and deals. Reporting live in Irving Park tonight, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.